physics exists in all circumstances. What these guys have been talking about today, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make physics work for us instead of physics working against us. Because we know physics exists, we know there's going to be nulls and peaks, we know small rooms can't be perfect. What they can do is they can be better. Part of my role within the company is I look at where is the need for different products? What do we do and how do we do that as a company? How do we go around and say, what do we need next? And a lot of that is because we come, we talk to people. The guys here, they're talking to people all the time. And even now we say, I know we say, oh yeah, we know 99% of the problems. It's always that 1%, there's A, the fun, the fun bit, because you always get something like Mike was describing. He went through it and it took two, you know, two days to work out his position. You know, surely he could work it out by now. But physics doesn't, <laughs> physics doesn't work like that. And what we did, what we've done here, this is the classic, the classic, it's the egg carton. I mean, I'm hoping these days, uh, you know, we're, we're all a bit better now and we haven't done this. I've talked to, uh, you know, universal lectures over years and people say, yeah, I have actually done it. And, and technically there is texture, like we are saying, would work. The reason that this come about as a kind of a myth, no, is, is a couple of reasons. The main reason is to do with foam companies. And I think it probably was Orlex themselves who first came up with the concept. And the reason is, is somebody in the, you know, R&D development was trying to do, how do we make, you know, that real estate that we've been talking about? How do we get more out of it? And with a pyramid on a foam, what they're doing is increasing the absorption area. It's really, they're not using any more space on the wall. And that's, you know, how research and development works. I would never recommend the egg cartons for the pure fact is they've got a purpose and they're for eggs. And they do a tremendous job of that. And also you have to eat hell of a lot of eggs. It gets boring after a while. There's other things as well. We can look at it and we hear about a lot about soundproofing and how that works. And I've seen products and there used to be a, a really well-known video. And it, what it was, it was a, it was a drummer in the desert and they'd put him on a pallet so they detached him away from the world and he's, he's drumming away and this company comes along and they say our panel will stop sound and to prove it what they do is they lower a box over the drummer and suddenly you can no longer hear the drummer i mean i've always maintained on this and the theory is because you don't see him at the end of the video clearly the reason you no longer hear the drummer is because he's dead because if you put an airtight box on top of anybody I mean, you've got as, as long as the size of the box before you're going to die. And the concept is, is any of those materials as airtight would stop sound because we know how sound travels. It, sounds through the, it travels through the air and it travels through vibrations. But we also know in their video that they'd moved in from those vibrations. So therefore, but it doesn't mean the panel works, no. So at GIK, what we're doing all the time is we're always looking, and this is just a selection. In my office, we joke about it, and I'm, I'm on Zoom, and every time there's a Zoom meeting, there's another panel behind me, there's something else. I'm always like this, coming across, going, look at this, look at this. We've got hundreds of them, and all the time, we're looking at new ideas and how we fit. And one of the things you're going to look at is creativity, because you can never lose the fact of what we're doing here. You know, it isn't all about, you know, whether we're going to, what, what, which button we're going to tweak, how we're going to do this sound. This is about creativity. One thing I never Never lose fact of I'm still the most proud I can ever be when I'm listening to things now in the charge and it's still they've used my panels I maybe I designed them maybe Mike um, here designed their room and still I'm so proud to think that just part of that creativity part of that thing that all those millions of people are enjoying we've been part of and that's so one of the things when you look at design is you want to be an environment that you actually feel creative in you've got to sit there day after day after day you know, you don't want it to be that sort of dead room. It's got to be something exciting. And these, again, this is just more of the sort of things that we're doing all the time to try and have a look at your needs and what it is that you can do for the future. So really, we just want to, at this point, thank you everyone for listening to um, the team. You know, the idea of, of doing free acoustic advice is we really do want, a, you know, you start on your journey, you understand those rooms and you can take it everywhere with you. So thank you very much.